Alhamdulillah, now that the vaccine is here and now that the cases are under control, it is about time we get back together. It's time for MassCon to be back in person in 2021. We need to follow the CDC guidelines with the help of our volunteers and amazing partners. Sanitization stations will be in every corner, masks will be worn at all times, and free on-site testing will be available for all. We have been working tirelessly for this moment. Everything is in place, everything is ready to accommodate all of you. Now do your part, wear your mask, and enjoy MaskCon 2021. It is an honor and a privilege to be back at Mass ICNO Conference 2021 after being separated. So I just want to say thank you for all who organized, for all of you for showing up. Thank you for bringing the Ummah back together. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. We stand here tonight thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, thanking Him for this blessing, the blessing of His book. In His book, you find the keys for eternal happiness. In His book, you find the solutions for the many problems we face. We stand here celebrating the guardians of Allah's book. And in first place for the whole Quran, for the 11th annual Quran competition, Ilyas Qasim. Sisters and brothers, we come from a deed that teaches us courage, that teaches us resilience, that teaches us persistence. Sisters and brothers, we are a community of knowledge. Allah has blessed us all here with magnificent blessings. Alhamdulillah that we are here today, we are alive and we are breathing and I am so grateful that Allah chose for me to wake up and be here today with you at Mass Ikna. Being Muslim in America is such a beautiful opportunity. It's such a great opportunity gifted to us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We stand in a land that gives us freedom to speak as much as we want to whoever we want. And here we are today gathered with our opportunity to speak our truth and call people towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, allowing people to walk in from different walks of life. My dear brothers and sisters, one of the core concepts of our faith, dare I say one of the defining characteristics of our faith is mercy and compassion. Every time we access the Quran, 
we begin reciting the Quran, we mention the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we say Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. That we begin in the name of the one who is the most compassionate, the most merciful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sent as a mercy. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ We did not send you except as a mercy to everything in existence. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said about himself, أَنَا نَبِيُ الرَّحْمَةِ He said, I am the Prophet of mercy sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam enjoined compassion upon us. He urged us to be compassionate and merciful with one another because it is through being compassionate and merciful to one another that we earn the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. and remind yourself that the reward is always greater than the pain. That not only in the ma'al usri yusra with hardship comes ease, but the ease makes the hardship worth it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all of, our, all of our good deeds, forgive us for all of our shortcomings. May Allah compensate us for all of our moments of pain. May Allah grant us a great sense of steadfastness. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us sincere May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to enjoin one another in good, to enjoin one another in patience, and to keep each other strong so that we can arrive at His pleasure bi ta'ala. Allahumma ameen, jazakumullahu khayran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.